Yeah, so it's a little bit tricky. I don't know the audience, really. Uh, usually I give talks at PHP conferences where I don't have to apologize for PHP. Uh, usually what I have to apologize for is the fact that PHP CR is based on uh, JCR, which has, you know, the J for Java in it. Uh, so I assume most of you don't do PHP. Does anybody do PHP? Okay, so a couple. Um, so as I mentioned, PHP CR is actually an adaptation of the Java content, content repository specification, uh, which is basically an API definition uh, for how to implement uh, a storage layer for a CMS. Now, that has been around for a decade, um, and I'm wondering who here knows about JCR? So a couple more hands than PHP. Okay. Uh, who here believes that JCR is dead because there's now CMIS? Okay, one hand. Who here even knows about CMIS? Okay, so I don't need to convince you because there's only one person. I can stab him afterwards. Okay. So the PHP world uh, dominates the web. I, I have to burst your bubble if you're a Java guy. It dominates the web. However, it dominates it, of course, with tons of crap code. Um, that is partly the history of PHP, and that's, it actually sort of is a feature because PHP allows you to write crap code and be productive. And one of the, the biggest success stories in crap code that PHP has produced is content management systems. And all of these are insanely monolithic. Um, they basically are a gigantic blob of, you know, code talking to a database, uh, code implementing some business logic, uh, JavaScript, CSS, and all of that. So that's, that's our design approach that, you know, got us to ruling the web. Uh, but, you know, um, in the PHP world, uh, we are able to learn a little bit. And for many years, we laughed at Java. And then, you know, Lucene came about, and we started taking Java seriously. And, you know, we, we adore Solar and Elasticsearch now. Um, and, you know, some people have started to, you know, look at, you know, these Java guys, they actually think about what they're doing and then, you know, they're spending some time designing it and, you know, coming up with specifications. And, you know, why not just take all their nice work once they're done and port it to PHP and keep ruling the web? So that's essentially what we did. Um, so we adapted, um, we took the spirit of the Java content repository specification and ported it to PHP. Um, and uh, also, you know, thought about how that relates to PHP. So we don't need, we're not a strongly typed language, so we can get to the actual content stored much quicker. We don't have to go through a, a zillion objects. We just get, you know, an array with some hash and things like that. So we have this, the productivity of PHP combined with, you know, the concepts developed as part of the Java community. The API, however, is, feels really familiar. Um, so actually a couple of weeks ago, we invited a developer from Magnolia CMS, uh, and they're, they're using Jackrabbit, which is the reference implementation of uh, JCR, as their content storage. Um, and we invited him over, and we just you know, started playing around with uh, PHP CR. One of the cool things about what we did with PHP CR, there are actually multiple implementations already. One is written in C, and then there's another one written in PHP. And the one written in PHP actually supports different backends, and one of them is actually Jackrabbit. So given that, uh, we looked at how we can actually talk to the Magnolia CMS data, uh, read that, manipulate that. Um, so one of the things that they don't have yet is inline editing, and we're actually using a library called CreateJS uh, in, in some of the projects we're doing for inline editing. So we basically gave them inline editing within a day um, through PHP. So that's kind of neat. So you can take your you know, your um, existing enterprise Java sophisticated, uh, highly workflow oriented solution, and you can put in front of that uh, for specific projects maybe, just, you know, maybe for a marketing campaign, you can put a PHP front end there and just do some stuff and reuse all the content. And you can even stick some new content into that content repository. And it all feels really native. And it even performs. Um, so, 
I guess since I'm pitching this to a non-PHP crowd, what I'm actually saying is that next time somebody comes around and tries to force Drupal or Typo3 or something like that onto your projects, because they're saying there's so many nice features that these uh, frameworks offer, you can say, no, no, you know, we'll stick with the Java content management system, and those front-end guys, they can keep using their PHP. So I think that's actually all I'm going to say. Um, I, I do have slides, but I don't think there's any point in showing them. Um, they're up on phpcrgithub.com. Uh, this stuff works. It's being used in production. Of course, we still have some work to do. Um, what maybe the closing thing I want to say is that actually what, it's, what was really exciting to us is that the Java guys also see the potential of what we're doing here. So phpcr will actually be part of the JCR 2.1 specification which I guess is a, fir a first uh, in the history of the JCP process that you know, some foreign language interfaces are actually making it into a Java specification. So uh, yeah, thank you for listening. If there are any questions, I will be happy to answer if I still have time. Okay. No questions. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks.